Oh, go ahead. Okay. Well, let me just turn my phone on airplane mode so I'm representing what I'm about to preach. Nice. Okay. EMF pollution. Also known as electromagnetic fields, which is also known as radiation. We often think about, that was not supposed to be there. We often think about radiation being used as cancer treatments, but we often overlook at the presentation of it in our daily lives. Where do we get exposed? to EMFs. Surprise! <laughs> Cell phones. The biggest addictions in our lives, which also happen to be our biggest toxins. We also get exposed with smartwatches, which are some of Krista's biggest pet peeves. <laughs> um, Bluetooth devices, all other smart devices, such as thermostats, speakers and TVs, smart meters, um, microwave ovens, cell towers, and more. Plenty of these symptoms we are all familiar with. All of these are contributed to the exposure of electromagnetic fields. Headache. Fatigue, stress, hyperactivity, insomnia, body pain, vertigo, inability to focus, tinnitus, weak immune system, hormonal, hormonal imbalances, depression, heart palpitations, nausea, loss of appetite, and plenty more. These are common conditions that have been linked to electromagnetic field exposure. Plenty of these you'll recognize that they are typically related to aging, except cellular aging doesn't happen without exposure to radiation and other poisons. So relating things to aging doesn't exist. Aging happens when you are exposed to poisons and other environmental toxins. The science, mm. it's stuck. Father. Thank you. So the science behind EMFs affecting our cells, we were exposed to EMFs, our intracellular intracellular calcium increases. This activates VGCCs, which stands for voltage-gated calcium channels. Voltage-gated calcium channels. Um, these activated VGCCs damage the mitochondria, which are, which are the powerhouse of our cells, which is included, which controls the energy of our cells. So where we get our energy from at the cellular, le cellular level is the mitochondria. So these excited VGCCs destroy the cellular membrane, which is the outer covering of our cells, and the ribosomes, which are the protein factories of each of our cells. So from a very cellular level, you are only as healthy as your cells. So these radiated, ra <laughs> Radioactive waves affect us all the way down to our core. Comparing the effects of ionizing radiation is equivalent to 1,600 chest x-rays to 24 hours on a cell phone. Both produce roughly the same, the same amounts of DNA breakage. So 1,600 x-rays equals 24 hours on a cell phone. But this doesn't even fully capture the potency because x-rays are pulsed energies while cell phones are continuous. So cell phones are even more dangerous than x-rays because they are continuous nonstop.
Pokra. EMF pollution may be the most significant form of pollution human activity has produced in this century, all the more dangerous because it is invisible and insensible. We see plenty of other toxins and poisons, but this one is the most dangerous because we don't see it until we get sick from it. Krista! Oh, did I Yeah, you're fine. <laughs> so, fossil toxins can be eaten by trees and bird meals. So, muscle testing, as a brief overview, is understanding two very simple things. We are both electric, that's how our heart beats, that's why our brain sends signals to our muscles. That's how you can understand the words that I am saying right now. That is all electrical, along with other components, but that is how we understand what's going on in our body. We're also magnetic. So like the Earth has a North Pole and a South Pole, our body also has a polarity, a North and a South aspect. Understanding how well our body works from a magnetic and electric component allows us to tap into our muscles so that we can understand what our body needs. When we utilize our cell phones, we are changing that charge, just like Olivia was talking about, and it disrupts that signal. By disrupting that signal, we can't function well. So by utilizing muscle testing, we will show that a cell phone is harmful to the body because I'm just going to stand up now and use Olivia as my dummy. So these muscles in her hand, remember there's the electrical signal that's being pulled to and from her brain to her fingers. And I'm just going to gently pull and she is going to remain strong. And so once we know that she can handle my pull, we will check her polarity to make sure that her magnetism is correct. So she'll put her south pole against her north pole. And if she is strong, then we know that that part of her polarity is correct. And hold. And then she will flip over and we have north to north. What happens with a magnet that has the two north faces together? It's weak and can be easily pulled apart. Squeeze again. Squeeze. There is no way she can resist this. Now flip back over. We've got north and south. As you can tell, I'm really pulling hard. <laughs> so now that we know that her polarity is correct, we will grab her cell phone, because we already saw that she is strong. So by holding her cell phone, and if she's not holding her cell phone, I cannot pull her fingers apart. And that is why we should not carry our cell phones in our pockets. <laughs> or in your bra. Or in your bra, or anywhere else. Thank you very much. You're very welcome. How to limit EMF exposure. Something very simple that we have started doing is turning off our Wi-Fi at night. Um, another one is placing a smart patch on our devices. Grandma introduced us to this probably two years ago. Um, Organite is something that I have really enjoyed exploring lately. Um, it's a crystal, um, a gemstone that we, um, do you have any on you right now? No. Um, you can find it in jewelry, you can find it in the crystal itself, um, keeping it around the house, wearing it on you. Um, magnesium, one of my favorite ways to increase my magnesium, magnesium absorption is by spray. Um, I have obviously, as we know, um, GI issues. So my GI tract doesn't always absorb the supplements that I take. So through the skin, which is the body's biggest um, absorb absorption organ, um, spraying supplements such as magnesium onto the skin 
helps absorption of minerals. Um, increasing antioxidant rich foods, um, using speakerphone when on cell phone calls instead of having those waves going directly into your skull. Um, getting a shielded cell phone pouch if you need to carry it on you instead of having it right next to you. Um, just like not putting it in your pocket. Um, and then using your laptop on a table instead of on your lap. The name is very misleading. It is not meant to be on your lap. Uh, that is a great way to damage your organs. Supplements. My favorite one has been Yarrow Environmental Solution. Um, also sprayed on the bottom of my feet. Um, omega-3 and omega-6 fatty acids. My favorite brand is Body Bio. Um, N-acetylcysteine, magnesium, rosemary, cat's claw, both herbs, and then the amino acid glycine. So 7.33 billion people in the world have cell phones, which is over 90% of the world's population. So thinking about that kind of damage. Thinking about that cellular damage that we are not only putting into our bodies, but since we all have those cell phones, the constant signals that all of our cell phones are sending into the air we can't escape it, so we have to do the things for ourselves, such as increasing the antioxidant foods, increasing our supplements, doing our things in our house to protect our families and ourselves, such as wearing our protection. <laughs> Out of those cell phones, 6.92 billion are smartphones, which are more dangerous than regular cell phones because of 5G and other Bluetooth systems and such. Over 85% of the world's population have cell phones, um, which equals 90% of um, cell phones owned are smartphones, emitting more radiation than um, other flip phones or such. Other resources that I have found to be helpful include Oh no, where is it at? I don't have my mouse again. <laughs> There's no mouse. Is it up there? Where? Okay, that works, I suppose. Okay. Um, this website pretty much explains the basics of EMFs, as well as conditions that are known um, to be caused, and then where we get a lot of this radiation from. Um, the next one is where we get our energy enhanced medallions from. This um, article explains more about the frequencies themselves and then how they use their bioscalar technology to enhance the minerals in the um, gemstones themselves to protect from um, EMFs. The next one data about how many people use these devices worldwide. And then the very last, of course, if you want to dig real deep, heading over to Holistic Beginnings and starting your own journey. Perfect. Would anybody like to have? Krista muscle test. <laughs> I knew it. I knew it. If you don't mind, Krista, of course.
pull gently away from you. Hold. Left as hard as I'm going to pull. Can you feel that difference? Mm -hmm. So uh, I'm going to have you take that hand and put it on top of your head. Hold. You feel how it stays mm -hmm. close together? So now I want you to flip that over and hold. Yikes. Hold. Uh, you can't resist my pressure. <laughs> and then flip back over. Let's feel you're strong again. And hold. Like, unless we want to really buckle your Maybe. fingers. Oh. And then flip back over Please again. One more time. <laughs> <laughs> That's how that works. So your polarity is working wonderfully. Now say if you were strong in both directions, there are some ways that we can correct polarity that are really simple. From drinking your water to rotating your ankles. Because if we stack our bones correctly, everything should flow properly. Um, and then there's other ways that we can do that. Um, but we don't have to because your polarity is correct. Mm -hmm. So now let's grab this watch of yours. Oh, no, you don't even need to put it on. And hold. 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 There's no <laughs> denying. No. <laughs> So we wouldn't want to wear that every day. Okay. You can put one of your yeah, stickers on it if you wanted to. And we'll see it again, you know, on the back to help prevent or minimize EMS and just only wear it like when you're trying to work out. So not when you're sleeping. Yeah, not I don't. I do not wear it when I'm sleeping. Do not. <laughs> so I want to know what muscle I need right now. So that's a more intense muscle testing. No, I don't mean Just specific. Yeah, more yeah, specific. Yeah. Yeah. your watch. It's not like it's an organite. And one. I don't it has a cover I don't know. I'm just like something. Yeah. Um Dad, can I print I need um my log paper. Yeah. Babies. Well, you have all the six the sick people. Yeah. 
Mm-hmm. How do you feel about me? I told you guys about that. You did. You told me. So pornography is a demon that goes into the house and it's the creature of the demon of God. Mm-hmm. Do it for the entire body or just for the sex organ. Um, if you see red to white spots, those would be indicators of areas that the spirit of the demon is working in the body. So if you see impurities, cover it. Then where's that at? Mm-hmm. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. And that would totally go along with like all of her fertility yeah. things. Yeah. yeah. So then you can teach about how to be stressful and you know where to work with the five strands in that area to release the unhealthy things in your life. It's way shorter than it should have been, that's but that's okay. okay. I'll learn. get there. Yeah. Seems like you feel like you could have added more. It's supposed to be an hour long. Oh, well. <laughs> oh, I have questions. Yay. Okay, cool. Other questions. Can I take this off? Yeah. The ringing in your ears. <laughs> Craniosacral helps with that, everything, let's mm-hmm. be real. <laughs> I know. He's trying to get you there. <laughs> <laughs> I was just hoping the circuit line would have been blown up for the energy enhancement system, so I was kind of hoping that that would have just enhanced me even further. But then you look at all the, the technology that we've had in the last 20 years yeah. or so, so it does make sense if that is. I just honestly correlated. wish you could go to the field and do this. Well, those are the types of things. Yeah. yeah. That doesn't surprise me. That doesn't surprise me. I mean, the research on the research is all the technology you can even think that has been so close. Devices and then the towers on top of the buildings. and. That's on your side. And like every 40 feet in the hallway, there's a Wi Fi repeater. That's why I love being at the Naturopathic Institute. Like, it's clean and you can feel that and the energy. Now, what about that? What about? Okay.
lot of stuff without any real warning. The warnings, the truth is, the warnings are there. But they're, but they're the small print. Yeah. Yeah. Well, just it makes me think back to cigarettes. Yeah. You know, when, what? it was cool. When it's, you're pregnant, it's great to light one up. stars were doing it in, in the movies. Uh -huh. So it was like, that's a cool thing to do. The unfortunate part is nicotine is actually an effective treatment for a lot of different things, but cigarettes have all those chemicals in them, and so now nicotine has this really bad yeah, it's an Right. So long, so go home. So, for instance, if you want that protection, it could be cute little pouch that you carry with all your stuff. So, just a pretend or two. Okay. How do you feel yet? Like, do you want to pretend or two? Right. I love one. Not yet. Not yet. <laughs> but uh, internally, there is a third ADHD insert phone in there. So, if you want to use your phone mm -hmm. when you come up with and so, so they should make one so that you can still use your phone. They do have like the you little know, phone like cases and things like mm -hmm. that. This is just my it's go just to your carry yeah. one. And I'm like, as you go. Yep. They um Katie has one where it looks like a little like wallet almost, yeah, and then you can close it up. Yeah. Mm -hmm. They do exist. Yep. They're out there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You can still like shield it with your Apple Watch or something. Mm -hmm. You can well, still like use it. Like, well then. Sort of Ladies and gentlemen, that concludes our recording for the evening. So you know it's done. <laughs>